Welcome chocolatiers! In this video, you will learn all about making and wrapping your own chocolates and candies. All the tools and accessories you need are right in the box. The only thing you need is to add your favorite chocolate. Try candy melts, baking chocolate, carob, or chocolate bars. You can also use sprinkles, chopped nuts, candies, whatever flavors you enjoy. We do not recommend chocolate chips. Chocolate chips are actually designed not to melt, so they can hold their shape when baked. So gather up your ingredients and let's begin. You can melt chocolate in two different ways, in the microwave or on the stove. Fill one of the paper cups about three quarters full of chocolate. Do not fill all the way to the top. If you're using a chocolate bar, make sure the chocolate is chopped into uniform pieces to ensure even melting. Remember, you must have adult supervision to use a microwave. Place the cup in the microwave for 20 seconds. Chocolate retains its shape even when melted. So, the only way to know if it is truly melted is to stir it. If after 20 seconds the chocolate is not soft, place the cup back in the microwave for another 20 seconds. Repeat this step until you get a nice, smooth consistency. Do not overheat the chocolate. If chocolate is overheated, it can be lumpy or grainy. Of course, you will also need an adult to use the stove. Heat a saucepan of water over low heat until it just begins to simmer. Then, take the pan off the stove. Place a ceramic or glass bowl on top of the pan. Pour in chocolate and stir continuously until it is shiny, smooth, and completely melted. Now that your chocolate is melted, it is time to mold into fun shapes. You can pinch the paper cup to make a spout so it is easy to pour. Pour the melted chocolate slowly and carefully into the pastry bag. Try to squeeze the chocolate all the way to the bottom of the bag and twist the top end of the pastry bag to close it. Cut off the very tip of the bag with scissors. Plastic zip bags also work great. Make sure your molds are clean and dry before every use. Avoid all contact with water. Chocolate will become unworkable if it comes into contact with even a few drops of water. Squeeze the chocolate slowly into the molds. Gently tap the mold on the table. This makes the chocolate spread evenly and removes any air bubbles. Do not overfill your molds. They will look messy and not pop out of the mold easily. For best looking results, place the molds in the freezer for three minutes. This will make the chocolate hard and make the shapes come out of the mold easily. Lay down a paper towel, oil, or wax paper on the table. Turn over the mold and tap the edges gently until the chocolate shapes pop out. If the 
the shapes do not pop out, push the mold gently. For lollipops, pour the chocolate into the molds and add the white lollipop sticks to the edge. Make sure at least a third of the stick is all covered with the chocolate. Here are some decorating tips. Mix and melt different candy colors together. Add rainbow sprinkles and other candy to embellish the chocolate treats. You can even color in some of the details on the mold. Use a toothpick to create a thin layer of colored chocolate. Let's set and then fill the mold with a backing Stick the molds together by adding a few drops of melted chocolate and pressing the shapes together. Now that your chocolates are done, it is time to wrap and decorate them to give us gifts. Wrap lollies in the special bag with bows. Fill up a gift box and add stickers. And don't forget to display all your yummy creations on your chocolate shop stand.